hello everyone welcome back to the channel thank you very much for tuning in to another video please remember to like share and subscribe to the channel so that you can get the latest updates where these track and field event is concerned so people several of our jamaican top notch athletes will be representing us at the razorback invitational and of course you know that it's arkansas razorback invitational yeah and uh, we will be talking about some of the events that our athletes will be partaking in and definitely you will be seeing i'll be scrolling through and let you see what will be happening because this is a big deal you understand and before i get any further congratulations again to Jaden ebert on you know making a bold decision a very wise and prudent decision to go to be a professional athlete and he indicate that this is his dream and listen to me we have to just work with it and accept it i know many persons might not be uh too of uh in liking of what is happening where that is concerned but i mean his team and himself would have made a big decision so certainly we have to just accept it so let's get right in the thick of things a uh, plethora of events will be happening this weekend uh the razorback invitational will actually happen on january 26 which is uh today uh and tomorrow so it's a it's a part two part days of competitive track and field events and of course our jamaicans will be involved in these events from the collegiate to the the athletes that are pro so when you go through this list of 200 meters uh not seen uh many uh well not seen any jamaicans in this one so that is that we don't really have to go through this one but uh yes so rosalie cooper will be competing in this 200 meters former st jacob athlete and Nikisha Price is in this one as well. That's eight eleven of the women's 200 meters. Nikisha Price from Arkansas, Rosalie Cooper from Mississippi University. Definitely we're looking forward to see them competing in this one. You understand? So it is a good look. Gabriel Matthews, also a former Idol and Queens athlete, uh, Ole Miss, uh, Miss it's the um, institution that she represents she will be competing this one she'll be going up against former st jago athlete joan reed of arkansas listen to me the arkansas athletes are going to be stepping out this year the people look out for them and also shanti jackson yeah man the phenomenal young talent shanti jackson will also be in this one so your thoughts people of this 200 do you think that shanti jackson will as a freshman just take this one and um run away with it yeah well i think she's the one to beat you know she's definitely the one to beat and we're looking forward to that performance from her and also a big clash will be coming up with her later on we'll be talking about that uh travis williams south carolina athlete he's a jamaican he will be competing in this one jelani gordon georgia he will be competing in this one so it's going to be one of those events that you look forward to but of course day one is not so you know much talked about as day two because the professional athletes will be coming in to compete in these events so we look at the women's 200 meters open uh favor of feely and Jeanette knight will be clashing in this one and Jeanette Knight, of course, is a four hurdler, and she's putting in the early season work indoor to ensure that you know she put her her, her season into sprint perspective. Because remember, guys, this season is an Olympic season, and every single person will be going out to ensure that they put their best foot forward. So Vernon Norwood also will be taking part in this 200 meters so that is that for that uh looking on the men's long jump side of things uh <clears throat> excuse me we see well, quite a number of athletes but i'm not seeing any jamaican athlete pulling out in this one listen people the amount of jamaicans who have left champs and competing at these events please forgive us if we miss some of these athletes because trust me there are so many of them 
All right. So that completes day one Friday, where the uh, few Jamaicans will be competing in that event. And uh, certainly, I look forward. You will be definitely getting updates, people, on the uh, final analysis of these, this trap meet. This is a big trap meet. And listen, a lot of people will be opening their season, especially on Saturday. So this is Saturday, 60 meters uh, qualifying round. Um, Rosalie Cooper again will be in this one. Yes, Rosalie Cooper. Let me see if there's any uh, other Jamaican in this one. Not seen another Jamaican, but Rosalie Cooper has her day filled because she seemed to be doing a whole lot of event in these two days. And it's a part of the the whole setup of, of, of these um NCAA athletes, whenever it comes to indoor and they're trying to go um pre preparation for outdoor, you know, it's very difficult. So sometimes you you you, you kind of understand why some of the fans are a little bit wary of our athletes going overseas but everybody select and choose their path and this this is what Jaden did he select this and boom one year accomplished so much and he is now he has now decided to go pro so that's a good look so 60 meter hurdles again rosalie cooper showing up again in this one um de definitely does a freeman of georgia she will be uh, uh competing this this one she's a jamaican as well that's a freeman and definitely uh some jamaicans competing in this one two that i've seen so far and it is indeed a good look to see the jamaicans rolling out yeah you understand? let's look at the men's side of things people philip limonius will be uh competing in the 60 meter hurdles yes philip uh, limonius he has a very good chance of uh persons believing that he could upset the apple cart this season in the men's uh 110 meter hurdles so let's see and then you have tyler mason the man that has really uh come back his season has been resurrected and definitely a lot of jamaicans have time for him uh where he's concerned in this uh, 110 meter hurdles he's the current uh training partner of uh rashid broadbell so definitely we look to see great things from uh tyler mason this season so i tell you listen jamaican championship it's going to be very very competitive very 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 competitive people you, you can't ask for anything better you understand this is what you ask about where chuck and phil is concerned this is what you will be getting <laughs> you understand so it is uh it is one of those things that um you're eager to see your 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 you can't wait to see these athletes putting out all stops you know to compete at these events that are right in the horizon you understand so let's look at the uh 60 meter prelims 60 meter prelims 60 meter prelims let's see if there's any jamaican in this one where the female is concerned yes people and as you can see in the title of this video shanti jackson will be going up against brian Liston. listen this is going to be one of the epic one this is going to be one of the ones that people will be talking about for this weekend shanti jackson very talented super talented youngster and then you have brenna alistan which is also another super talented youngster one is at arkansas one is at lsu well 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 it's a jamaican starlet versus the american starlet people this one is going to be amazing this one is going to be epic and we can't wait to see them compete yo I am excited for this one, people. And definitely, I know that you're excited. And I want to see this big clash. Uh, it's a good one for Brianna early this season. Many persons talk about her, her run in the 4 by 4 that, oh, the time that she split is not fast enough. It is indoor, people. Now, 60 meters is also indoor, yeah? So let's see. Shanti will be, do, be, will be doing the 200 meters the day before on the Friday. Now she's in the 60 meter. <clears throat> sorry she'll be going up against Brenna Liston. yo this is gonna be epic people joan reed is also gonna be competing in the 60 meters joan reed she did well last season yes she did well last season and i think this season should be joan reed's breakout season 
look out for her people definitely but many persons are interested in this 60 meters women's uh race shanti jackson versus brianna liston you can't get it any better people rochelle burton of jamaica also will be in the women's 60 meters prelims she'll be going up against another jamaican kiara grant and alia hobbs yes tamara um tamara clark is also in this one listen this weekend this weekend is going to be epic my people you you can't afford to miss it and if you miss it um definitely coaches desk tv will be updating you on all of these events as best as possible to ensure that you are quite in the know travis williams again south carolina starlet he'll be uh producing another phenomenal 60 meters look out for him uh, as he goes up against these competitors in this one so jelani garden again is going to be running people you can't afford to miss it julian fort yes the man julian fort fabian boy yeah man fabian boy will be opening up against these college athletes it is a good look for him to see where he's at. I guess he's after the indoor season as well. So it's a good look to see. I definitely want to see Julian Ford healthy this season. I definitely want to see him execute. I believe that this is the year for him. And certainly, we're looking forward to see him uh, producing the goods this season in this year of Olympic Games. So good to see that Julian Ford uh, will be opening his season and it is. Yes. You can't forget about the 400 meter athletes. Uh, the athletes definitely will be coming up. Gabriel Matthews will be competing in this one. Yes, Gabriel Matthews will be competing. Onika Makano, former. Uh, Idel star captain who won the championship with Idel last year. She will the teammate of Brenna Liston from Idel and also LSU. She will be competing in this one as well. Nikisha Price, yeah, man, the 400 meter uh, national champion will be going up against these ladies and you can't afford to visit again. This is going to be epic, my people. Epic, epic, epic. You understand? This weekend, trust me, Mm-mm-mm. My son like a scratch record, but Stacy and Williams and Janet Knight will be going up against each other again in the 400 meters. Anjanet was in the 200 meters the day before. Now she's back the, the, the second day uh, to compete in the 400 meters. She'll be going up against our Jamaican compatriot, Stacy and Williams, who will be opening her these athletes. I can't wait to see the times that. They put down. On the track and things happening. Ty Cooks um, will be in this one. Let me see. Uh, uh, no Jamaican in this one. And if I miss a Jamaican, then I miss that jamaican because i'm not seeing any jamaican no oh javon powell javon powell will be opening his season he'll be, t he'll be in uh section 10 he tended and let's look what uh javon powell will be uh putting down on the track i think i believe that raheem hills is also a jamaican not sure I, i'd have to verify that but he will also be completing competing so all the athletes coming out putting things on the line for this season uh the men's 400 meter open only three competitors uh enter in this one um so certainly uh i, I just try to go as quickly as possible people to give you the updates and all of these things so based off all the updates that i've given to you then your thoughts people your thoughts on these athletes competing uh, I believe that there is going to be some good competitions, and I believe that it is a good look for some of them, especially with where their projections are for the season. Uh, I guess their coach and themselves would have, you know, put things together, work things out to see how best they can maneuver this season. 
and um, for them to be opening up, especially the senior athletes, it is indeed a good look to see them opening up and getting ready to put their feet on the chevron, to put their feet uh, in, the, in, in, in the spikes in a competitive way uh, outside of the realms of training. So I'm looking forward to that and I can't wait, my people. I, I, I am sounding like a scratch record. Yes, let it scratch. <laughs> but... I saw in track and field come around, we're excited. You understand? I saw in track and field go on. We're pretty much on the clouds. We're floating. You understand? So, people, definitely we'll be back with the results for this event. We'll try as best as possible to give you a synopsis of what took place and give our analysis on what we believe transpired in those events. So, until next time, people, stay safe. Peace out. Thanks again for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. I'm out.